Going to the barn to get some firewood. Here we have a pile of birch firewood. I can sit here and watch the sunset. Sun goes down behind those trees. Maybe I will build a little terrace or something here. Maybe later this summer. Or next year. In Sweden, everything is going more slowly than in Denmark. It's, if we don't do it this year, we, we do it next year. It's one of the good places to to think about my life as it is now what I want in my different businesses in in Lynchut. We have a forest there and I cut down some trees sometimes walking around in the forest. And some of my best ideas in audiobook business has come to me there. That's why I know it's important for me to to be close to nature. That's inspire me in, in my professional life because it's not just for me to be in an office every day I need some more space air to think, think more freely it's, uh, it's my place for free thinking
Hey, we decided to come up here and tell you a bit more about why we're here, why we moved, why we have these two lives, what the whole thought process was with that. <laughs> so when you asked me the question today, why did we do this? Why did we decide to pack half our wardrobe and drive up here and move in? <laughs> move into the cottage that we normally rent out to other people. First of all, this has been kind of a dream ever since you brought me here for the first time. Mm. Two years ago, three weeks after we met. <laughs> I remember you brought me to Lundschuld, the other cottage. Mm. And uh, it was so dreamy and lovely. And there was all of this nature and this cozy cozy cottage and the wild animals and it was so adventurous like a fairy tale i remember wanting to like imagining living there but i wasn't at the time looking to slow down <laughs> quite the opposite when we met i had just quit my job and i, I was going full-time with my photography business so I had all of these ideas popping up from my heart and my head and I was just ready to take action and meet a lot of people, get some clients and just get out there. I was not looking to move away and slow down to live on the countryside. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, so it was the kind of dream that just got wrapped up in this nice little package and stored away for later. Since then we have been here uh, lots of times and it was just our vacation spot that we needed once in a while to recharge and get back to nature and get back to the simple life. <laughs> and I remember that uh, that first time at Lundschild that we were laying uh, down by the lake and you whispered in my ear, you can use this place for your business. And my heart just started dancing <laughs> because then I knew, oh, okay, I could combine these things because I saw so much potential in these cottages and this place. So um, I started doing like trips for business women to come here and we worked together and we networked with each other and had long walks in the forest. And now, two years later, we have found this new way to combine the like the goal getter fast lane business lifestyle that we have at home and that we have in our hearts with this simple life slow living hmm. 50 50. <laughs> 50 /50. <laughs> what about you what got into you that day that you came home earlier this year and you said honey I have figured it out. I know how we can move to Sweden. <laughs> that was a good day. It felt unreal than when you when you laid out the plan for me. Yeah, we have looked at a lot of videos from Sweden and mm. talked about it and we couldn't get to Sweden because the the borders were closed, yeah. so so we couldn't couldn't come up here. So it's just building, 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 building up <laughs> yeah. the need for coming up here. We were craving to come up here yeah. more than ever because it has had been so long. Yeah, and I thought it's important. Uh, I could really feel it when there has been going a half a year where we haven't been here. It was a way of making our lives even more special. Yeah. And do what our heart is telling us. And that's just, yeah, like you said, 120 miles per <laughs> hour all the time. It just uh, mm. come up here and have those moments, the quietness and uh, the good thoughts as well. Yeah. Because there's coming a lot of good thoughts when you have, uh, when I have quiet 
around me, mm. uh, the forest, uh, the fire place. Yeah, the small things uh, important yeah. for me to think really and think about how the next five or ten years should look like. <laughs> Connecting every day with uh, the business at home, having the time with you up here, working, <laughs> filming, yeah. getting up at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. It's just a perfect time, perfect yeah. way of waking up. I have actually been thinking that this part-time solution, the 50-50 uh, double life style, is it, like I've been reflecting, is it because we don't dare to go all in and just move up here? And it comes so quickly to me, the answer. No, it's not right now at least. It's because we want it all. We want both. <laughs> and this way we can have both. And the drive is not so long. At your business, you figured out uh, how to do it. And you told all of your employees that now everybody can work from home and I'm gonna do it this way. And you were supported. And for, for me, I work at home anyways, because I'm self-employed and I have my office at home and my photo studio at home. So it didn't make a difference for me. I can just travel back and forth for my clients. So suddenly it was just so easy how we can get it all. Mm. And I have actually been hearing people talk about just this now that the world has changed a bit and there's more working from home, more people are reflecting on moving to the country or moving to uh, the sea or into the forest or whatever they've been longing for or moving to another country maybe because you can work from home or work remote, work online. Like there are sprouting ideas in people's hearts if this can be possible. And we hope that this is uh, one solution that we can show you that, well, this is possible for us and maybe you can find your own inspiration and see how to make it happen. <laughs>
<laughs> we have been living like this for a month now and this is the third time that we are here in Sweden and on Monday we go back to Denmark for a week and we come back the next week and it just goes on like that <laughs> every other week we are here a month with this kind of living and uh, it's working it's working yeah it's working for us yeah. at least <laughs> We try to keep this channel as authentic as we can. We, we film what we do here. Um, mm. Sometimes we film every day and sometimes we take some time off. <laughs> we really hope that you maybe feel inspired and uh, maybe you want to follow the journey. What will happen with our lives, our lifestyle going forward. You can uh, subscribe to our channel if you want to see like a little notification when we upload a new video. And if you want to say hello, you can do it in the comment section. And if you like the video, push on that uh, thumbs up button. Then you're telling YouTube that, that this is uh, good content and it will go out to more people. And we're really thankful for that as well. So just thank you a lot for watching and being here. Thank you. We will see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye.